Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to GNC Carnival Stunt Road as we continue on with our exciting motocross-type race weekend here. Race number 24, at least one half of race number 24, we should say, of Season 6 of the Mobile One Cup Series getting ready to be run. This is heat race number one of the evening. We're getting ready here for 21 drivers to get ready for a no-caution eight-lap event. It's basically a race of survival. If you tuned in and saw the Truck Series race, you basically know what's going to be happening. If you didn't, it's going to be these drivers going around this track, which is basically kind of almost as if it's built for motocross-style racing. It's a dirt track, lots of twists and turns, lots of elevation changes, and there's actually one turn where we've seen lots of drivers actually go flying up into the air. It's like a banked Daytona turn, but it's completely made of dirt, so you can guess how much grip there is there. But uh, these drivers are going to have absolutely no cautions to work with. It's basically whoever ends up getting to the line first at the end of the eight laps. And we saw that it could have a big factor into somebody getting into the chase for the championship in the Truck Series event. We'll see if the same thing can be said for this evening's race. Starting on the pole position is going to be Joshua Collard. Now, Collard actually comes into this race 8th in the point standing, so a good opportunity for him tonight to maybe pick up his first win of the season. And that could help ensure him a spot in the chase for the championship, because remember, after this race, we've only got two more races to go. By the way, there actually is a, a, a schedule change, and I'll make that announcement uh, pretty soon. But anyway, he's on the pole position, and alongside of him, a driver's trying to actually work his way back inside the top 10 in points, and that's second in rookie points, Sky Commons. He's 13th in overall standings right now, and he is only a total of 19 points behind uh, Bob Jones. Actually, I'm sorry, comes as third in rookie points. My apologies. But Bob Jones, you see, is starting right behind Sky Commons for this race. So, 10th in points, Bob Jones is going to have a lot of pressure on him because there are a few drivers in this particular uh, division race that are going to be trying to run down Bob Jones for a spot inside the top 10 in points. One of them is actually Charles Jackson. I don't know where he's starting from. Uh... I think he may actually be starting from last place, but I'm not sure. Anyway, alongside of Bob Jones is the guy who comes in running down Emilio Navarrete for the points lead. So we're going to have a battle for a spot inside the top 10. We're also going to have a good battle for the points lead because Sean Gallagher is only 11 points behind Emilio Navarrete in the standings. And the interesting thing is both those drivers are going to be in this division. It's not going to be one in this first division setting the mark and the other one in Division 2 trying to beat it. It's going to be both those two drivers going up against each other here tonight. So we'll keep an eye on that. Trying to see if there are any other drivers that are inside the top 10 in points that are in this division race. Dylan Young, fifth in points. He's in this division race. So I look further down here. I'm trying to see if there's any other drivers that we're going to have to keep an eye on that are actually running really well in the point stains. And from what I see, it looks like everybody else is going to be over in the Division 2 race. So it looks like the drivers we'll have to keep an eye on during the course of the evening are as follows. Navarrete, Galligan, Dylan Young, Joshua Collard, Bob Jones, Charles Jackson, and Sky Commons. Nonetheless, though, we're ready to get these cars underway. They're going to complete a couple pace laps, and while they do that, we will show you your starting grid for this evening's race. We saw how the Truck Series race was rather chaotic, which is what we expected. How are the Mobile and Cup cars going to be here at this amazing sun track-like racetrack? Here we go. Green flag, red 12. Here's your starting lineup for our first division race. Getting ready to go green flag racing. We saw in both the truck series division races that you can actually be running mid pack and actually work your way to the front and win. P2 London started on the pole for the division one truck series race, worked his way back up to the front after slipping back, won the race. And Deanna Shelton won her division race from the 15th position. Let's see what's going to happen here tonight. Eight laps of non stop green flag racing. The way to green flag is out. Here we go. 
We gotta go to uh, the amazing camera here off this corner. Whoa, Sky Comments and Bob Jones visiting the extreme high line of that turn. But they keep it going. Joshua Collard with the black and decker paint scheme here tonight. As Galligan's trying to get around Sky Commons, that's for second. Looks like he's going to be able to do it. Now let's find Emilio Navarre. Looks like Navarre had actually a pretty good qualifying position. There he is. Back here in a bunch of traffic, though. At this particular moment in time, he actually started this race from the 11th position. Good battle up ahead. I think there may be a battle for the lead. Nope, that was actually a... Uh, well, almost a battle for the lead. Sky Commons trying to run down Joshua Collard right now. And they're keeping it pretty well together right now. Whoa! There goes the Kyle Corbett machine around, though, off the final corner. Wolfgang Mason has hit the pit wall. And that's backing up all these guys. Navarrets held up. Voiles, Alex May, Jeremy Mayer, Charles Jackson, Trent Dunham's back here. Okay, I thought Trent was... Oh, Trent is in this division. I thought Trent was going to be in Division 2. My apologies. Whoa! Sky Commons! Why is he on pit road? He was running second, and now he's on the pit lane. And Navarrete's on the pit lane. So is Jake Rogers. Joshua Collard now the leader. Galligan in second. And Galligan's starting to close up that gap there, trying to look for the lead off of Joshua Collard. Meanwhile, good battle back there between two rookies for third. Isaac Kanepa trying to run down Bob Jones for third place. But the points leader, Emilio Navarrete, I think, is actually on pit road. And if that is the case, yes, he is on pit road. So, too, is Jake Rogers. And Sky Commons still sits on pit road, too. And Sean Galligan's gotten around for the lead, gotten around Joshua Collard. New leader is the defending Mobile Cup Series champ and two-time winner this season, Sean Galligan. And right now, folks, if Emilio Navarrete is running where he is, and Galligan is leading the way. I believe Sean Galligan is the points leader right now of the Mobile Cup Series. Battle for second shaping up as Collard lost the lead. He's now slipping back. And Bob Jones is going to get by him. That's for second place. Isaac Canepa now looking for a spot to open up for third. As Whoa, Bob Jones got a little squirrely there off one of those jumps. Oh, one car just got turned around back there. That was the Zach Rogers machine, but he kept it going somehow. Side by side right now between him and Cody Lomas. And Cody Lomas just hit the entrance to pit road. And now drivers are starting to get held up behind him. Jake Rogers there. Kyle Corbett. And I think one of those was, uh, was that Austin the Plant? No, it's George Roke. Whoa, Daniel Voyles just ran to Cody Lamas. And Dylan Young goes sliding off the corner there. Here comes Jordan Hester as well. Aaron Williams Jr. back here. Cole Daly. There's Charles Jackson. Jeremy Mayer. Alex Mayway back here, lots of damage, and then they're back to leader, Sean Galligan. So let's see who's actually out of the race right now. Looks like the cars that could be out of the race at this point are Wolfgang Mason, points leader Emilio Navarrete, and Sky Commons. Cody Lamas is also sitting on pit road, and I think Trent Dunham may be on pit road as well. Let's find out where Trent is. Yeah, Trent's on pit road, fourth in points. Who else is sitting on pit road? Oh, Bob Jones is on pit road. Something happened to the 14. Second in rookie points. And Bob Jones came in 10th in the point stands. Four, pos four points ahead of Charles Jackson. I think Charles still may be running. Yeah, he's up in the 13th position. I don't know where Bob Jones is currently listed. Well, he was 7th last time around, but he hasn't completed a lap, so they haven't scored him. Trent Dunham is now just taking his car behind the wall. Tough break for the guy who comes in 4th in points. Oh, Emilio Navarrete, the points leader, is going to stay out and continue on. This could be why strategy. If enough drivers retire here in the next five laps, Emilio Navarrete could still keep the points lead. He could pick up some valuable spots, so nice strategy there by Navarrete. I don't know how far back he is. How far off the lead lap is he? He's only one lap down, they're saying, so he has an opportunity here if enough drivers retire to maybe move up in the standings and keep ahead of Sean Gallagher. Remember, he's 11 points ahead of Sean Galligan coming into this evening's race. So he would have to finish somewhere if, if Galligan wins this race. I think he'd have to finish sixth or something. So that's a lot of drivers that would have to retire, but we've seen stranger things happen. How about Isaac Canepa? What a great run he's having. A whoa! Contact there between himself and Zach Rogers. Zach Rogers, our winner last week. 
from uh, Michigan. And, and it looks like Zach's going to be able to continue on, but he ended up spinning out there, and that lost him some time off of Kanepa. Kanepa having a great run right now, as I think Joshua Collard is still trying to run down Sean Galligan. Nothing doing. Galligan's holding about a 4-5 car length advantage, but Collard's starting to close the gap in just a little bit here. He's now closed up to about three car lengths. Gets the wall there. He's going to lose a little bit of ground. But he didn't hit the wall off that final corner there, as Galligan did. And now Collard is back on the hunt once more. Two to go, by the way. Sean Galligan looking like he wants to become a three-time winner this season in the Mobile Cup Series. That would tie him in the record books for most wins in a single season with James Silverfox, a rookie back from season four. Meanwhile, let's give you a rundown here of who's running where. Galligan leads, Collard the pole sitter is in second, Kanepa third, but Zach Rogers back here again looking for that third position. He's in fourth. Fifth place right now is Kyle Corbett. Then you got George Roke in sixth. Seventh place is going to be Jordan Hester, Dylan Young in eighth, Aaron Williams Jr. ninth, and Jeremy Mayer is in tenth. Charles Jackson is eleventh. Twelfth is Cole Daly. Thirteenth place, I believe, is going to be Daniel Voiles, who's about to go a lap down as Joshua Collard uses the slower car. Collard goes to the lead. Joshua Collard to the lead. Galligan slaps the wall pretty hard there. New leaders, Joshua Collard with the white flag in the air. Nice move there, using the lap car of Daniel Voiles as his pick. Collard leads the way. Galligan a long ways back in second now. Joshua Collard may have just made the move for his first win of the season. Galligan's about maybe 12 to 15 car lengths back. Kanepa and Zach Rogers, that battle for third still raging on. That's a good battle right there. As Joshua Collard has just a few more corners to go before he picks up the win. Coming through the right hand. Oh, he messed it up! Joshua Collard messed it up, and Gallagher gets by! Oh, Collard had this thing in the bag, but he messed up that corner! Sean Gallagher on the final lap is going to get around him, as Sean Gallagher's got to make it through this final corner, and he'll have won this thing. He literally just had that win handed to him by Joshua Collard. Off the final jump, Sean Galligan wins his third race of the season. The defending champion, just a few, just I think it was just last week, the defending Truck Series champ Chris Dalton picked up his third win of the season in that series. Sean Galligan answers with his third win in the Mobile and Cup Series as he'll try and make a case to be a back-to-back -back Mobile and Cup Series champ. And Sean Galligan right there, I think, just clinched himself a spot in the chase for the championship here in season six. But what a tough break for Joshua Collard. I think he had this thing won, but he messed up that one corner and Galligan got around him. Collard obviously will be pretty satisfied, I think, with the second place, but the fact that he could have won this thing and won it fairly easily, but he messed up that corner right back there. I'll bet when he just passed through that turn, he was thinking of that because he could have easily run away with this victory. He had more drivers actually finish this race too, which surprises me, but there is your winner, Sean Galligan, who is a three-time winner in the Mobile One Cup Series this season. First one to ever reach that pinnacle in Season 6. So let's take a look here at the official finishing results as the race standings are complete. Galgan with the win. Collard will finish second. Isaac Kneppa, Zach Rogers. They had a great battle going on there for third. Too bad that wasn't the battle for the lead, but they're going to get third and fourth place. Great run for both those rookies. Kyle Corbett, great run for him in fifth. I think he actually finished well in the Truck Series division race he was in too, if I recall correctly. Then you got George Roke. He'll finish sixth. Dylan Young. He'll stay inside the top ten in points with a seventh place run. Aaron Williams Jr. Nice run in eighth. Jeremy Mayer, I think, actually finished well in the Truck Series event, too, and he finishes well here tonight in ninth. So apparently those two rookies, Corbett and Mayer, really like this track. And Charles Jackson could find himself back inside the top ten in points. Remember, he only came in four points behind Bob Jones in the standings, and he finished in tenth today. Where'd Bob Jones finish? Ooh, Bob Jones finished in fourteenth. Actually, maybe a tie for tenth place between Bob Jones and Charles Jackson. I don't know. And there's Emilio Navarrete. He finishes the night in 16th place. Whoa, Daniel Voyle's going flipping. Okay. <laughs> but Voyle's goes for a little ride there after this race is over. But uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, Emilio Navarrete finishes one lap down in 16th place. Sean Galligan with his win. 
Finished 16 positions ahead, plus he gets the 5 bonus points for winning. That's 21 points. Sean Galligan's going to have, it looks like, a 10 point advantage heading into next week's race. So the new points leader is Sean Galligan. 10 point advantage over Emilio Navarro. That is, however, depending on what James Silverfox does in the Division 2 race. That race is going to be coming up very soon. Hope you enjoyed this evening's race. Sean Galligan becomes the first three-time winner in the Mobile One Cup Series this season as he takes the checkers tonight in the first heat at GNC Carnival Stunt Road. If you guys enjoyed this race, be sure to get a video like, subscribe, and subscribe to the crew today. Here comes your official page of results. The rookie points and the overall points will be coming up at the end of the Division 2 race, which will be coming up very soon. You've been watching production of the SRA Offline Racing at its best. Here they come off the final corner and oh what it was John Zinedino the leader! Zinedino the post leader, there goes Madison Saber off! There goes Ralph Mason, second in points off! Oh my goodness!